Hello viewers. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Today we have with us Mr. Manjeet Dahia, the Vice President and Head of Machine Learning and Data Sciences at Ecom Express. Manjeet has over a decade of experience in the industry and has been associated with Airtel, Delivery and Car Deco prior to Ecom Express. He is an IIT alumni with a B.Tech from IIT Kanpur and a PhD from IIT Delhi. Manjeet, thank you so much for joining us here today. It's a pleasure to have you here with us. Thanks, Supriya, for the kind introduction. We are happy to have you here with us, Manjeet. So, Manjeet, you are the head of machine learning and data science, and you have a PhD in the same field. So, you know better than us how organizations have been, you know, for uh, to data and AI for business growth. So, how critical is uh, data and AI-based decision making when it comes to business growth objectives, according to you, and how can they be effectively leveraged? I believe that, uh, like. Uh, ai and uh, uh, data are, are extremely important for for our business uh, growth objectives uh, at a high level we have got uh, two uh, business objectives one is to increase the revenue and the second one is to uh, reduce our costs and i have seen ai technologies impacting these two very high level uh, objectives directly so uh, I, I can give a number of examples in case of logistics uh, at Ecom Express, we are in the business of moving packages from point A to point B, and uh, it is a very complex network of facilities. And uh, if we can reduce the travel time of a package by 20%, like it is like reducing that much cost directly. So, uh, like we have come up with the number of technologies that would. Uh, optimally place our facilities, optimally connect the facilities and uh, uh, like which first mile facility will go and pick a particular package and with, likewise which last mile facility uh, a package should go to. All these decisions are taken by AI and uh, at a very uh, high pace and uh, uh, like it is creating direct impact to uh, our uh, these two high level metrics. Great, uh, Manjeet. You know, thank you for putting it across so simply so that a layman can, a layman like me can understand. So while we're on the topic of logistics, uh, Manjeet, logistics isn't exactly viewed as a very tech savvy sort of an industry. I'm sure that has changed now. So what are some of the common challenges that organizations face when, you know, like, log like the logistics industry perspective also you can share when integrating data and AI with their business growth uh, objectives? So yeah, uh, like from from outside, it seems that logistics is a very simple uh, operations game. But if you deep dive, like you will realize, most of the hard AI problems are lying in logistics. And uh, like I got to experience logistics uh, immediately after my PhD when I worked with delivery, and then I moved to di multiple different organizations, but. Over time, I realized after spending a uh, variety of experience and spending in different domains, I realized that logistics is the is the uh, is the area where AI can create significant impact, and and that is why when when the opportunity came to came back to come back to uh, logistics, I I immediately grabbed. And speaking of the uh, uh, challenges, uh, like. Uh, which which organizations typically face like first of all the the very first challenge would be availability of usable data and and its quality so most of the time what happens is that uh, uh, in organizations data is not organized properly and it is either scattered or it is not available in a single source and its quality uh, uh, could be not uh, good for using in our AI models. So that, that is one of the very big uh, challenge of, of uh, creating your AI models. And this particular thing I have seen in, in many of the organizations. And the another challenge is that uh, at times formulating the right AI problem in itself is a, is a big deal. Like you have got uh, processes and uh, 
and and different uh, areas and you need to figure out okay this will be the ai problem that i will pick and this will create the most impact so if if you pick a problem that is not directly impacting your your objectives then then you are in trouble so formulating the right problems in itself is is a is a is a challenge otherwise all your energy goes in 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 the direction which is not impacting your uh, uh, goals and the another uh, uh, challenge would be like okay you have finalized the problem now whether you have got the right solutions or not so uh, at times like i have seen organization uh, using uh, rule based uh, uh, techniques whereas i uh, ml based techniques would be much easier to adapt and they would uh, result in much better results so like it has to do uh, with with having the right talent that is another uh, challenge in, in in our industry that uh, having like getting right talent uh, and because things are moving very fast in ai and uh, like making sure like you are uh, uh, up to date with all the new technologies is difficult and and like we have seen very like it a very like it is another last challenge that having a good talent for you right there manjeet i mean talent is a huge issue and this is something that is being highlighted by multiple leaders across domains so while we are on the topic of challenges manjeet data governance is a huge problem also that you know we hear people talking about so what is the sort of strategy for you know operationalizing an effective data governance framework when it comes to integrating data and ai i agree that like i i just mentioned that data in itself is a very big challenge so uh, the the problem why data governance is is is, is not Uh, is not in a good shape is that people do not have dedicated teams to manage their data and that is one of the very big uh, 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 problem that i have seen but ideally like it is the most important thing for your organization and you you plan to come up with uh, all the uh, like this, this, this is the piece that will enable your ai initiatives but uh, i have seen uh, like not investing in in, in data engineering teams that would wh- whose goal sole focus would be to uh, manage the data making sure that the data is accessible it is usable making sure that the quality is there uh, once you have team and once you have governance in place like you you start getting the benefits of it as well like it gives you security as well on your data it makes sure that like if you want to make sure if things are compliant like you that the same team will make sure that uh, uh, you are compliant with respect to your customers and all how you manage their data and all and again the challenge is the same that um, uh, finding the right talent for te- data engineering is also uh, a challenge because again technologies are moving very fast and uh, right tools and systems should be used because of the scale of the data That's right uh, Manjeet the scale of the data is so huge i mean it do- does has its uh, drawbacks and its positives right however data and ai is something that organizations need to start implementing that is established so what are some of the key considerations organizations take into account while selecting implementing and you know uh, sort of adopting data and ai for business growth objectives yeah so one of the most important consideration would be that uh, you should be very clear about the target metrics okay uh, like these are the metrics like these should be uh, like finally at the end of the day like those north star metrics should be impacting your revenue or cost and you should have very clarity uh, uh, about those metrics once your metrics are clear uh, like you will you will come up with modules a that will be impacting those metrics and uh, then identify figure out the right ai problems and uh, uh, so that uh, like they they would be like moving the needle and 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 then before deploying like you should be able to put in all the telemetry in place so that you are able to measure when you make a change 
and that is the most important thing uh, i have seen like i would never go without telemetry in place because it is like going in the dark and you do not know okay you have launched a model and uh, whether it is creating an impact or not or how much it may be degrading the performance as well so so that is another consideration that that we should be uh, making and the, the last one would be how you manage your uh, stakeholders and all because at the end of the day all these ai technologies are probabilistic in nature and that they can once in thousand or uh, 100 times in thousand they can they can backfire so so uh, like like it should be quite clear okay these things could go wrong as well because it is probability at the end of the day and you should uh, have your platform in such a way that okay the like you should be able to tolerate these kind of uh, when, when things go uh, south thank you for bringing that point up manjeet about probability right i mean that brings me to my next question with this generative ai that is coming to the market there is a lot of renewed focus on this probability aspect i mean people do not know exactly where this will take us to so there is a lot of uh, you know there are a lot of views coming in on ethical ai so what are your views on that i'd like to know so yeah uh, i agree generative ai has taken uh, the world like anything and uh, everyone is gaga about uh, this technology and Uh, like it, 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 like one should be quite clear uh, with when when playing with these kind of things. Like ethics is is one of the areas, and and like making sure the things are not biased are are quite important. Like I can give you an example. Like if you are trying to train a generative AI using some PII, say addresses in 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 our case, so the the problem with that piece of AI is like it can. output pii right it is generative in nature and if you try to leverage that kind of model wherein you want to autofill uh, addresses like it is very easy for a for a for a hacker to extract the the right or or the actual addresses from from that piece of tool so like one should be very clear like when dealing with uh, pii and uh, uh, generative models and uh, another uh, 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 item to consider is that like there could be biases in the data itself and that uh, those biases tend to emerge in in your model itself so like handling those things is is very important uh, one of the thing that we saw at uh, 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 when i was at airtel digital uh, managing the rec- recommender systems there like typically what happens that popular stuff is recommended even more and the, the cycle keeps on going so like there is a bias we we call it popularity bias and you need to minimize it so that diversity is there in in the content like all all variety of songs and like long tail uh, song lists are also recommended so those those things are also need to handle so with generative ai like very uh, uh, another kind of question is that whether like it would be replacing humans uh, or like but the uh, here my goal should be and the my philosophy would be that like we should be empowering humans and we should be removing all the grunt work that is there and uh, human should be at this stage where they they design things and and they they they, they contribute like much richer uh, uh systems rather than doing doing the grunt work so that that is the kind of philosophy i have that was a great view manjeet i mean thank you so much for sharing uh, that with us and i must say it was wonderful talking to you and all the views that you gave right i mean it was really amazing i mean since you are a data scientist and you've been in the industry for so long it was wonderful listening to your views so manjeet is there anything that you would like to add that i may have forgotten to ask so uh i think we have covered most of it uh like i would want to repeat the same thing again that that uh, have telemetry in place and uh, like whenever like uh, releasing any of your model like make sure you are measuring things we are in the business of optimizing and improving our metrics and uh, whenever we go live like make sure that uh, you are uh, measuring the the impact 
Thank you so much, Manjeet. It was a pleasure talking to you, and uh, your views are really, you know, gave us an insight into data and AI for bridge, you know, business growth objectives. I thoroughly enjoyed listening to you. I'm sure our audience will appreciate your views as well. Thank you so much for joining us here. Thanks, Uppu. So